Peace, mercy, and blessings of God be upon you. Oh, yeah. Hi, Hi, the crow is one of the animals mentioned in the Holy Quran. And the place in which it was mentioned was teaching us as humans the correct way in which we are supposed to bury the dead. Crows are really skilled enough to use both wooden and metal tools. She can even make her own tools. It can also imitate the human voice and speak, but what is its story, and how crows, as scientists said, are smarter than a seven-year-old child. You all right, man? Yeah, yeah. You all right? You all right? You all right? I'm all right. Um, wow. Wow. In this episode, we will answer how the crow is are smarter than a seven-year-old child. Welcome, I am Muhammad Saleh. But before we start, if you are still new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell so that our videos reach you first. From the red button below. Let's be serious. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. The crow belongs to the corvid family, and the average length of all its different species ranges between 34 and 70 centimeters. It is famous for its dark black color. Crows are found in Africa, the Americas, Northern Europe, and all over Asia. And the crow's society in general is one of the most strange animal societies. The word combined here is intended. Crows live in universities and flocks, and they are associated with certain customs, traditions, and certain methods of coexistence. Married crows, for example, when they marry, they live together until the end of their lives. They are also very loyal to each other so much. So that if any strange male approaches the female, she hits him with her beak to drive him away, and the couple begins to build the nest in which the female lays four to five eggs and incubates them for 18 days. And the father and mother continue to take care of the young and feed them until they reach about 60 days. And if the family has young crows, they will also help raise the crows born. And one family of crows has an average of 15 members. As for survival outside the family, each member of the family goes out on their own, joins one of the large flocks, and spends the day with them moving, playing, foraging, and other activities. At the end of the day, each one returns to his home again, and in the winter, crows gather in common places, and they all sleep together in these places, and their numbers in some areas in America range from a few hundred to two million crows. Surprisingly, each region also has a stereogram. And the crows know that this is the official model for the area. The great crows know him and their children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren know him. They know him well, and go to him in the winter. Generations continue to pass this information on to each other, to the point where some divisions may have existed for more than a hundred years. What is also strange about the society of crows is that if one of the crows dies, they gather around him in the form of a circle, as if they were standing in mourning over him. When they meet at the place, they start gathering information from each other to find out the cause of this crow's death. And if they discover that he was killed or that an animal attacked him, a group of them begin to unite with each other and chase the animal that killed him in order to take revenge on him. Or at least drive him out of their area. Hello! You want a donut? Where's Walter? You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> we enter the important area next, which is, the very distinctive intelligence of crows. Crows are very smart in their way of obtaining food, as well as their relationships with the animals around them. I mean, one of the familiar sights is that you can find a crow cutting a small branch off a tree, and it continues to whittle away at the branch, by using its beak and claws to turn it into a pointed, toothpick-like stick. Then he grabs the stick with his beak and inserts it into the narrow openings in the trees in order to catch the worms and insects inside. In an incredible scene, this crow notices a beetle larva inside the tree trunk. The crow cannot reach the larva with its beak because it is located deep in the trunk. So he goes down to take a suitable thin piece of wood and then adjust it to his liking. Then he starts taking the delicacy with it. Its goal is to disturb the caterpillar until it encroaches on the piece of wood. This is exactly what the caterpillar does. And the crow gets its meal. Develop and implement a strategy to overcome obstacles and get food. For this reason, crows are considered the smartest birds in the world. Here, it seems to us, crows are digging holes in the ice to get fresh water to drink. 
In fact, they often do this when they lose access to water during cold times. But the crow seemed to be munching on ice when it suddenly took out a fish. He made a hole in the ice and somehow guessed the fish would be right below it. How do I mean how the second CRO did it with one way of hunting? In fact, the crow seems to have learned how to catch fish from the ice. And we see here, we see here that the crow was watching a fishing rod left by a man who realized that the other end must be effective and pulled it out. He didn't just grab a rod and started pulling it up. And the crow clearly understood how fishing line works. As well as the relationships between crows and birds in their habitat. They are not afraid of birds of prey such as hawks, eagles, and others. Instead, crows approach prey while birds of prey eat their prey. It is very normal. Alternatively, they can even kill this bird of prey as they surround it in large numbers and force it to leave its prey and walk from its prey spot. And the most surprising thing is that crows do not only establish relationships with birds. She has relationships with some wild animals, such as wolves. Crows and wolves have a mutually beneficial relationship with food and hunting. The crow accompanies a pack of wolves and directs them to the places where they prey. If he sees prey alone or weak prey, he will go to the wolves and begin to make certain sounds to them. And the wolves begin to walk behind his voice until he reaches the prey. In exchange, they will leave their crow friend to share the food with them. Alternatively, the raven is also distinguished by its choice of whom it will accompany. I mean, you'll find that crows are friends with wolves, not weak animals. This is because they are smaller and less powerful. You will find that the crow prefers the wolves because they are the strongest and smartest team in the animal hunter. Hi. Hey. Hi. I'll knock you out. You want me to knock you out? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Good. Now that we've seen a glimpse of the crow's life in the wild, let's see what it does among human communities. What the? I know, right? I know. How are you? How are you? Crow life is more interesting among humans than in the wild as well. Mostly, crows can interact with the human environment in an amazing way. I mean, if we suppose that our friend, the crow, found a certain kind of nuts, its shell is strong, and we assume walnuts, for example. He had an idea to eat what was inside the nut. At that time, the crow picks up the fruit with its legs and looks for any street crowded with cars, flies at a certain height and throws it to the ground. You will tell me that a nut will not break if it falls to the ground. I'll tell you and the crow knows this too. In this case, the crow throws the nuts onto the road where cars trample on them and break them. Is not it? It is also smart if, you break the tan, do not go down and eat it. This is because infectious. Cars can kill him. He waits for the traffic lights to turn off and all the cars to stop, and he goes down like a prince to eat what's inside. Speech. Good bird. Who's a good bird? Who's a good bird? <whistles> yeah. It has become recognized in the past that the larger the brain, the more this indicates intelligence. According to this theory, whales are supposed to be the most intelligent animals. The whale's brain weighs 9 kilograms, while the brain of the elephant weighs 4 kilograms. The relationship between brain and body size is not a useful indicator either. In shrews, the brain represents a tenth of the body weight. But the intelligence of this animal is less intelligent than insects and is not impressive. There is a difference about the location of intelligence as well. For a long time, scientists were convinced that intelligence resides in the cerebral cortex. Unlike mammals, birds do not have a brain full of zigzags. As a result, scientists have been convinced for decades that birds cannot perform acts of intelligence. It is another belief that scientists had to review. Because the intelligence of some birds is amazing. A. The intelligence of crows remains a great mystery to scientists. This is because crows have intelligence similar to many primates. While birds are known to have relatively little intelligence, due to their small brain size. Go on your perch. Hi. Hi. Some researchers say the idea is not in brain size. Rather, it is in the ratio between brain size and body size. And if we apply this to the crow, we will find that the crow has a large brain compared to its body size. And another thing they said helps the animal's intelligence, which is the density of neurons in the brain. The crow is one of the birds that has a very large number of neurons. In fact, 
in a 2016 study conducted on a different group of animals, the smartest in the world. And this is the crow of Newdonia. This is not sick, but changing its feathers. Using a metal wire, he gets a basket of food from a tube. He adjusted the wire without anyone's help. This is an amazing achievement, explains biologist Augusta von Bayern. The use of tools is still characteristic of animals. The use of animals is still primitive. But the decision, in addition to the crows, which have a large brain compared to the size of their body, are able to use and make complex tools. Also, your crows of this new donia make different types of tools in the wild and use it to get strands from the bark of trees, which she would not otherwise be able to obtain. These drinks are important in their diet because they contain certain proteins. Adult birds can pass these skills on to the young. But does the young just imitate such behavior or does she use her own intelligence? The question is, do the birds discover a certain mechanism or do they find solutions through trial and error? Two groups of birds were given instruments with a long tube. The only way they could get to the worms was to launch that mechanism with a stone. But neither group used stones. In the next step, one of the two groups was given a short tube. This allowed them to release the mechanism with their beaks. The second group was given a simplified device. Where the stone was placed next to the pipe. This means that the mechanism can easily be triggered by accident. As the bird looks. But in the third experiment, birds that previously could only launch the mechanism with their beaks quickly used rocks to get to the worms. Behaviorist Christian Schlugel works with black crows. For a while, these birds were considered very intelligent. One of the behaviors of crows that helps scientists in their experiments is to hide objects. Crows constantly hide food in different places. But Christian Schlogel's black crows have shown they are capable of much more than that. They deceive other crows, and to do so they need to put themselves in other crows' shoes. Black crows eat carrion, search for food in groups, and compete with dangerous predators, such as wolves, bears, and foxes. In order to organize its food in the best way, it tries to put as much quantity as possible in the caches. This means that they land, pick up food, and fly to hide it. A test to find out what the crow knows about the other crow. Where the two were placed in two different cages. One of them can see what is going on in the big cage. While the other could not, Christian Schlogel, in full view of one of the crows, hid the food in the grass of the cage. Enter first the second crow, who did not see anything. Then the first crow entered. Soon the first crow that knows where the food is, headed to a completely different corner of the food place. He began to search and turn around. And as soon as the second crow's curiosity was aroused, the first crow headed to the actual feeding place while the second crow continued to search for food in vain. Surely the first realized that the other had seen nothing. And he can put himself in the place of the other crow. Knowing how one crow knows about another is very difficult. Because this may happen on different levels. We have to watch closely to see if this is a simple behavior the other bird is reacting to. Or does he mentally put himself in the place of the other bird, and has an idea of what the other bird sees, or can see. This is very difficult, and requires many, varied tests for the same experiment. One of the typical characteristics of human intelligence is the purposeful planning of the order of actions. Such insight was impossible among animals until recently. Your new Caledonian crow is at least showing signs of, of being able to do just that. In this experiment, the bird was exposed to several long tubes. One of them contains food. The other contains sticks of different lengths. The only way to get food is to use a long stick. And herein lies the difficulty. On the bird, take out sticks from tubes of different lengths. And in a specific order. 
Without the bird's previous experience, the bird looked at the sticks and immediately took them out in the correct order. This means that he must have thought about arranging it in advance. But not all animal behavior is goal-oriented and understandable to us as humans. And today we're answering the question of how the, how the crow is smarter than a seven-year-old child. And whoever enters the channel for the first time, we will answer the questions that may come to your mind in this channel. You are lying on the bed at night or during the day and you do not have sleep. And as usual, if there is a question that comes to you at night and confuses you, write it to us in the comments under the video so that we can answer it for you, and if you like the video, do not forget to like and share. And for the people who see us for the first time, do subscribe and activate the bell so that our videos will reach you first. See you next episode, bye.